Yep, and let us know what you're about station. It's Hot 1079. Your Dirty Gen X Flies got on the radio. DJ Cash, the fly Haitian kid. I'm in the building. Man, if you're not familiar, man, with the Dirty Boys, you know what the hell going on. You know, if we got people in here serious, you know, it's big money, it's big money talk. You know what I'm saying? We famous. They be famous because you got to be popping to be on this show. Mr. Mulatto checking in. What's up, Shouty? Period. What's happening? What's Lotto, going on? Let them know. We got to be in your business. We ain't, we ain't talked in a long time. Business. Oh, you're Lord. You a big girl now. You didn't grow up a little <laughs> oh, bit. Oh, Lord. All what in your business. Mean? What that mean? I'm just in your business. We follow you on Instagram. We oh, see what's going Lord. on. You know what I'm saying? How old are you now? 19. Okay, getting you a little mature on. Got some you know new what I'm ice. Saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hair getting longer. Hair getting a little flakier. Yeah. Diamonds getting shiny. Yeah. And what's yeah. going on with your relationships, man? <laughs> we in your relationship life. <laughs> My I, relationship yeah, life. Yeah, when I seen you before, I, was, I thought, I swear to God that you was booed up with Band of Game Marco. I'm but single. You single now? No, I was always single. So all that just was cap. I'm always single. I thought that was your boyfriend. I com- I'm committed to my career. I don't have time to be, you know what I'm saying? That's a grown woman answer right that's there. That's a good that's a, that's a grown woman I don't answer. I'm trying to commit to nothing but my career. Okay, so well you I'm was- always single. What about your lap sitting with Quando Rondo? I'm single. No, let me explain Tell that. Tell me that because I was thinking like, <laughs> wait a minute. Let me explain that because I don't want to like- dub him. Like, that's my friend. That's okay. my friend. That was the first time we met, actually. Um, and now we're And you sat on his lap. Yeah, he, like, he's what's super up? cool. Yeah, what's up? Like, let's it break looks, the internet real quick. I it, got a mixtape dropping at midnight, period. I ain't also, mad at, also, I ain't so, mad so at you it. understand? Oh, you was, I ain't that was mad strategic, at it. huh? Yeah, we show was like, I was like, Miss Mulatto ain't shit. I, she was just with Bad Game Marco. No, I thought they was bays. No, you see, that's exactly why I can't commit to nobody. I put my career first. Like, everything with me is, is a business, it's some strategy to whatever I do. But me and Q, my stylist, mm. we was doing this look. Um, and he he worked with Quando. He worked with a whole bunch of other people too. So Quando pulled up to handle business with Q, super dope Q. Um, and that's how I met him. And he was super cool. And we took a picture. <laughs> Do you find that like you know because you're young, like people are more into like who you dating than than like the oh, yeah. regular. Oh yeah, they waiting for me to be like they like, bro, who girl is this? Like who you know what I'm saying? And they all trying to make me their girl too. So they ain't a DM. Is any is there any like grown ass men that be oh, yeah, trying to holler? <laughs> What's too grown? What's too grown? <laughs> that be in your DM. Forty. If, if you, my my mom and my daddy had me young. My mama was fifteen. My daddy was like eighteen, seventeen, something like that. So if if you if you my parents' age, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> my mama can't take my man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like no. If you could date my mama, then you too old to be in my DM. How your mama look? Cause you're beautiful. Fine. So how your how your my mama? My mama is fine. I get it from my mama. Everything from my is mama your- is white. Where? Right, the baddest white chick you ever met. Is she single? <laughs> is your mama single or no, married? she married. What, okay. What's your mama Instagram? Oh, she married. <laughs> right, <how? laughs> she married. I'm going to leave her. I'm going to leave her alone. Married. So look, growing, up, growing up at a young age and, and being in the game, like, uh-huh. do you feel like your whole life has pretty much been based about people being in your business? Like, how do you deal with that? Yeah, and then not just being young. I came from a TV show, mm-hmm. the rap game. If, if, number, if you're listening, you don't know. Um, so you know what would come with all that reality stuff. Everybody already in your business. They feel like they know you because they seen you on TV. So being young um, and growing up, you know, you are gonna grow in the industry. You do stuff that you're not supposed to do. Make stuff public. like what? That's not, you know, like I, I'm growing. So what happens in my personal life is is gonna be more low key. Mm. You know. So you just basically like learning, learning from that. Like yeah. you can't be out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, Willy nilly. Like I don't want people to think I'm in a relationship with somebody I'm not in a relationship with. That definitely had me fooled. So, so, <laughs> how, so, so how, how is that? How is that? Like, how do you deal with that though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Now the the new more mature Miss Malala, because you uh-huh. always speak about growth. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? How how do you deal with that? Like that concept of just life of having to worry about mm-hmm. what somebody got to say or what people look at. Oh no! Oh no! I don't even care about that. Like, I don't care about that. Like. Um, like referring back to the Quando situation, ever since I posted that, everybody like even people that know me calling me like sis, like this was going on sis, like I don't trust me, I don't give two dams. Let's say damn <laughs> about what anybody's saying. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know what I got going on. Me and my team know we we know what we doing. You you seem very mature for your age. Thank you. So like, do, you. do people does that ever work against you? Like people will still want you to be. Well, you were like what, like sixteen when you were on the show? Mm-hmm. Do people still want you to be like the sixteen year old they seen on oh, the yeah. show? Oh yeah, and it's they don't like the that you're grown. I think for any for any um artist that started when they was younger, is the transition. People people are used to seeing you. You know, they right. still think you that sixteen year old on the TV. Excuse me, they still think you that sixteen year old on the TV show. Um, 
So yeah, it's 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 tricky. It's Dope. tricky. But luckily, my TV show wasn't like Disney Channel or nothing <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? Like we was cussing on the TV show. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't. It's not too hard. But people are still used to. And that's like why I dropped the miss on my name. Just just growth period. Like all around. Dope. Dope. All right. If you're not tuning in, man, miss. Well, excuse me, Mulatto's in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got you. I got you. I got you. So who is Mulatto? Like who who mm-hmm. are you as a person? Because like sometimes yeah. I, I know like like what's what's your comfort zone? Because uh-huh. I know sometimes like people get into like having to like to put on a, a show. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you're on, on the scene. So what what is what would you rather wear? Like what's who is Miss Mulatto? Oh my god. Who's Mulatto? Um, my comfort zone. I feel like as an artist, there there is no comfort zone. First of all, you don't need to have a comfort zone. Everybody in your team should be pushing you out of that comfort zone. However, your comfort zone within yourself, like mm. your personality, being humble and all that, that you always stay in that comfort zone. But like as far as what I wear, if it's up to me, I'm I'm putting on some sneakers and some joggers and I'm out the out the door. You know what I'm saying? But so more more the more sneaker get, jogger gotta, pants. No. If you could. If I could, If it could yeah. work. If everything could work in life as yes. far as people could love you, yeah. love your personality, love your image, sneakers yeah. and jogging pants. Sneakers, joggers, and a t-shirt. That's it. A big old t-shirt. Tomboy. <laughs> a big old t-shirt. <laughs> big old t-shirt. So like, did you grow up as a tomboy? Um, I, I guess you could say, well, no, I wouldn't say tomboy. Like, my daddy, <laughs> my daddy got two girls. No boys. We his only two kids. So he's he, paying he for kinda, the scenes he's made when he was younger. <laughs> overprotective. Everybody always say that, but yeah. he 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 had me like riding four wheelers and um, he black. He dad's black. Yeah, yeah. Um, riding four wheelers. I used to drag race before I rapped. So I guess you could say I was a tomboy, but I always stayed cute. Though. He was like the son like, he never had. He tried to make me that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> do you get do but, you get um no. like flack? Like, does anybody ever hate like you being biracial? Does anybody ever? Oh yeah, growing up, especially because my name is Mulatto. If you listen and you don't know what Mulatto means. Um, it's actually a racial slur, a historical yeah. racial slur um, to biracial people, one black parent, one white parent. Um, but it's just me owning who I am. And, and I got tons of mixed girls, mixed kids, period, that come up to me like, oh, my gosh, sis, like, you you made me love the skin I'm in. Like, you're an icon to me, you know. So it's, it's dope. Um, but I definitely, I'm owning it right. because of things that I went through or just just not feeling comfortable period like feeling too black around the white family feeling too white around the black family you know what I'm saying? you ever feel like you have to choose sides like especially like with everything going on with white cops shooting black kids and the NFL mm-hmm. you ever feel like you gotta it'd be that's what I'm saying stuff like that is just like you you wouldn't it's hard to explain because you can't tell you can't tell someone your experiences. They just have to experience it. It's like when your mama said, "You better leave that boy alone." I, I don't. I've been been through it, right. but you. But mama, gonna, I love him. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna <laughs> learn until you going through it. So right. I can sit up here and explain like tons of stuff that I've been through and experienced being biracial, but it's it's not gonna come off as anything. But oh, she likes getting it stuck up. You know, right, so right. I just be like, you got your struggles, I got mine, and that's that. There it is, man. If you're just not tuning in, man, Mulatto's in the building. Okay, so um, do you ever feel pressure to keep up with your image? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Just being fancy. Because now I've been seeing you. You've been swagging lately. Yeah. Some of the heels and everything. Yeah, you got to look like yeah. the it girl every time you go out. <laughs> do you feel pressure? Like, um, it got to be tiring. It's I wouldn't say it's it's pressure, like, in a negative way. It's pressure, like, sis, like, you want to be out here looking like this? Um, you, you could blow any time now. Like, you want to be out here looking like this? It's not really pressure, like in a negative way it's like my team looking out for me like it's a level up like sis we gotta we gotta look like this when you step out you going to the grocery store we, we doing this like every day it's a look mm. does that stress you out though like it don't stress it's almost me out, like though. You, you, it's like it's like a part of the job like so you just look at it like every day is just this is your job every day yeah it's it don't stress me out i mean this what you sign up for like you want to be this when you need to look like this but one thing I can say about you is like your your generation seems to be like the generation of clout chasing. Like, oh, yeah. do whatever you oh, have yeah. to do or need to do to <laughs> we get popping. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see you. I don't see you doing none of that. So like, yeah, and right. People, you said Rondo. Rondo was goddamn. I mean, but that was like that's like light, innocent. Light work. Like, that's not like yeah. you know she's not going up there doing like yeah, crazy not, ant- yeah, answers like Takashi or somebody pop. like that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing all that. Like anybody ever approach you though to to like to do something crazy like antics like yo let's get together and. Do this and break the internet. And yeah. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. What's the craziest? Especially now that I'm getting older, like they be trying to have me in all the mix and stuff. But for me, it's like 
it's not clout chasing. Like, even going back to the Rondo thing, anything that I do is because I want to do it. And I, it's not even like, oh, I'm going to wake up and do this today. Like, if I see, I seen him, we met through my stylist. I'm like, you know what? Let's take a picture together. And they yeah, talk. I mean, that's he, not bad. He a young boy on the come up. I'm a young girl on the come up. And we both popping. Like, they gonna do, they, it's going to be the talk. Yeah, that, that's not bad. Up. That's I don't look at that as clout chasing. Now, clout chasing, it's like, when you going with somebody and, and you don't really like them and you you trying to black China to rob. And, like, right. That's not me. No, right. But, not but me. I know... Tons of people got to come up to you like, hey, uh, oh yeah. yeah. Some of them forty year olds in your DM yeah. like, hey, uh, yeah. Yes. They <laughs> like, they like, we, you, you the, you the next thing. Like, we gotta, no, no. Won't happen. No. So let's let's talk about growing up in Atlanta. How was growing up in Atlanta? See, I didn't grow up in the city. I'm from the South Side. Okay. Atlanta County. So it's it's different. Um, it's so close. Don't get me wrong. Everything like thirty minutes away. But if you grew up on the west side, it's different than the east side, north side, south side. Okay, what's um, south side growing up? Growing up on the south side is like people refer to it as country. Everybody say I'm country. Um, I went to Point South Elementary. I went to Kemp Elementary. I went to Rex Middle, and I didn't graduate from Lowell. I graduated from online homeschool, but I went to Lowell High, and it's just it's just out the way. People refer to it as country. They be wilding out there, though. Southside South Side ain't no... We, Southside ain't no... No, you know what I'm saying? They, they yeah. Y'all got some, y'all got some stars yeah, from the Derez and Sean, that's Waka. That's what I'm saying. Speaking of Derez, shout out to him. Um, He tracked one on my album. He he did that for me on some, like, Southside Pony, like, looking out for you. That's hard. Shout out to him. Um, It's a lot of talent out of Clayton County. Like, somebody could be so famous where where I'm from and nobody else will know them, like, People be like, girl, what? The rap game made you. But on everything I love, like, I was being known in Clayton County. Like, I was on the TV shows. That, like, we had a school TV show running in all the schools in Clayton County. Like, I couldn't even go to football games and stuff. Southside got his, got his own, own, it's his world. own world. But yeah. like, I, I can vouch for that because yeah. I think I did a show over there when I, when I, um, I guess when you was younger. Uh-huh. And I did a the, party the over there. Day. And I think you performed and yeah. killed it. Like, uh-huh. I was like, damn, who is this girl? Southside yeah, got so. their own clubs. Uh-huh. People from the Southside yeah. go on the like, Southside clubs. Out the way, like, yeah. Like people, like <laughs> everybody want to be from the city, but people from the South Side, we been saying South Side Clayco before it was even like a a cool thing. A cool, th- right. you know what I'm saying? Like I, if you go back, I was ten years old on on the stage saying like Queen Clayco. But that was like two like, years ago. Girl, you know. <laughs> 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 ten like two no, years I'm ago. Saying, I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give right. it nine. It's nine. We got <laughs> jokes. We got jokes. So let's, no, let's talk about different. this like social death. What's your relationship with JD? We don't speak. Mm. Um. Uh, it's not. I wouldn't say it's bad blood. It's not. It's not bad blood or anything. It's just it wasn't the right situation, and we gotta just keep the train moving. Yeah, because it seemed like like once once you got off the, like off the rap game, mm-hmm. um, I don't know. So so Dev like helped you. I think the rap game helped no. you more than the, the record yeah. label. So what and happened after thank that? Thank you. It's it's hard to explain that to people that's not in the industry. That Jermaine Dupri himself and the rap game are two separate entities. Mm-hmm. The rap game is a show, a TV show ran that's not ran by Jermaine. Explaining that to the, an audience that watches the show and they see Jermaine face everywhere, right. they're like, "Girl, he gave you this. He 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 made you known. Like, girl, you better be grateful." I'm grateful for Lifetime and the casting directors that that reached out to me. But as far as him himself, why, everything that I've done is me and my dad, my my team. Why like, do you think it wasn't the right situation though? Um. I can't really speak on his behalf. It's just something for myself. Yeah, I didn't feel comfortable, and I'm not in a rush to, to like I'm not pushing thirty like a lot of these artists. That's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta, gotta make some. You shake. know, I gotta make some mm-hmm. shake real quick. I'm not like that. I I just turned nineteen. Like my birthday not till December. Like I'm good. I'm having. You still got a little I'm bit more time. I'm having a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it it just wasn't a comfort thing. Like I don't know. I didn't feel comfortable. Like even on a personal level, I like, just not. Have you ever know. sat down with him and told him like I don't feel comfortable here, this that, and the third? He know. He know. <laughs> so, so let me ask you a question: Do you find it difficult for um for you to deal with other record labels? Because I know like in the industry sometimes oh, yeah. like you got a lot of Zex as friends with different people. Oh yeah. And they might be like, well, I can't touch you because Jermaine was you know what I'm saying. I, oh yeah. Of- and that's that's a part of the growth. Like right now, I've been having meetings all week. Um, I don't I don't like to speak on stuff before it happened, but um. That's that's the transitioning that I'm in right now, letting it be known, because folks like to claim you when you're not signed. You right. Know what I'm, I'm 100% independent, so. 
Did you send yeah, that so so death chain back? No, he wanted it back, but I ain't get it back. He was like, nah. It's mine. That, see, that's what I'm saying. Two separate entities. I want I still won the TV show. So I, it's still my chain. Uh-huh. I'm not giving nothing but back. But is that is that bad that he like, yo, give me the chain back? Like, like is it that <laughs> south? <laughs> not like, oh Lord, y'all try. Ooh, ooh. I mean it's the truth. I mean it yeah. is what it is. Um it's no, it's no bad blood. That's why it's hard. It's a, it's a hard relationship, to, relationship to explain because it's no bad blood. It's not like, bro, f you, give me my chain back. Like right. that's not how it went. Um, it's more of like an understanding. Like, you know, you ain't keep things one hundred on your end, and me as a like being young, but I'm not young minded industry wise because I've been doing it since I was ten years old. So I know, I I'm not. You're not gonna finesse me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then with my dad, like, you're not going to finesse me. So it's more Daddy like wasn't a, having it, huh? No. It's like, hold on, Jermaine. No. Dupree. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, the last time we, we even been around each other was a year ago, a little over a year ago for the tour, mm. the rap game tour. Why do you think you, like, you're the most popular out of that, that came out of that show? Me and my team, period. People tell me to be grateful for something that – that was that's not true. Right. Me and my if if that's true that somebody did all this for me, then why I'm why Why you are you know, still moving? Why I'm exactly. Why like you said, I'm the most popular one and that's no shade. They they all my little brothers and sisters. That's no shade to nobody. But why why I'm the I'm just lucky? No, me and my team keep kept this train moving. This and nobody have their hands in nothing S- since a year ago they put me on a tour that I ain't even get the back end from. You know right. What I mean? Jeez, so, Louise. so st- starting. Well, okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so starting at a young age, as far as like doing music, period. Do you feel like like you missed out on a lot of childhood? You know what I'm saying? Childhood oh yeah, experiences? definitely. Um, I used to hate it growing up. Like I, oh my gosh, me and my dad used to bump heads all the time. Like, look, I'm trying to go to the skating rink, and you trying to have me perform at this little fall festival down the street, and I'm not having it. Like, we used he was to trying to Joe heads. Jackson you. But he ain't put his hands on me. Like, <laughs> oh, he ain't put his hands he on me. Like <laughs> but like keeping me in line, like d- definitely missed out on it. Like I didn't go to prom. Um, I didn't get to walk. I graduated. Let's be clear. I just didn't get to walk. Um, let's see what else. Damn, um, that's that's. You know, you miss out on a lot yeah, of things. That's... But now I'm 19. I got my own spot, own car. Like I'm buying jewelry, like stuff that my friends or like right. peers that I went to school with is like like so it's like I how, you, I ain't like, go to prime with you bitches but I'm balling on you bitches now, you <laughs> okay. know what I'm saying so it it gave me a head start my parents definitely gave me a head start in life in, so, in so, being successful so how does your dad feel now like cuz usually like if you say you're like a daddy's girl mm-hmm. like now you're dressing a little bit more sexier mm-hmm. heels and tight this and tight we that gotta, and you the bad bitch and all this yeah. stuff how does he feel about this like how does he how does that relationship work uh let me s- explain this correctly. My Please, dad, cause I have a daughter. <laughs> I want to know. My dad is one of those people that can distinguish the two being business and personal relationships. Like, if I call him and say, hey, daddy, da 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 Or if I call him like, look, I got this today, manager, da 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 He know how to distinguish the two. So, like, me, the, me growing up and me just doing things as an older artist versus a kid artist – was not hard like um like I said when I was 10 years old he telling me like yeah I know you my daughter and I know you want to have fun but you also my my artist and right now I need you here performing right. right here so um luckily that's that's been a smooth transition and and, a, and being a uh not a kid anymore but being young and having your parents still involved scares people away but when they get to know my dad and they see like his mentality as far as this business goes they be like, oh, okay, I see what's going on. He ain't, he ain't one of them. Right. Okay, let's let's talk about the growth in music. Uh-huh. This mixtape. Yeah. This drop. Yeah. What's the difference? Um, what can we look forward to? Being literal, I'm, I cuss in my music now. Um, okay, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not even just literally about cussing. It's just talking about... Um, talking about what I really deal with on a on an everyday basis. Like, um... Speaking of cussing, like, do you ever get flack if you, like, I don't know if you have said it, but, mm-hmm. like, if you say, like, the N-word, do anybody give you flack? Like, you what, you not really black? Yeah. It, it's always a few people that say that, but <laughs> who gonna stop me from saying it? Like, <laughs> nigga, nigga, nigga. nigga. Stop, you know what I'm saying? Who gonna stop me? Um, but I don't even cuss like that. Like, 
when I, when I speak, I don't really cuss like that. So that's not even a word that's strongly in my vocabulary in the first place. But it's a lot of people that do be like, girl, girl, you white. You can't say that. But I'm like, sis, I'm just as much white as I'm black. Like, I could say whatever. I, want. I could say nigga. I could say cracker. I could say whatever I want to say. And nobody going to do nothing You got best of both worlds, huh? Period. <laughs> what? Right, in the middle. In the middle. Period. So, but, so, uh, yeah, yeah so. this, this mixtape, um, it's just me speaking. Um, it's self-titled. It's, it's called Mulatto. Just showing Mulatto now. Dropped a mist, 19 years old, um, living on my own, just everything that I've been through these past years since the show. Which one of your favorite songs? If you had three songs on this tape, on this EP, to pick for people to become a fan, mm -hmm. what three songs? The first song, period. Um, it's called Deserve, featuring Derez Deshaun. Um, it's just one of those songs that's, like, universal, like, if you ever been through some shit, ooh, excuse me. You, you ever been through something? <laughs> you ever been through something in life? You gonna feel it. Um, it's called deserve. Like saying, what I deserve, what I don't deserve. You just gonna have to check it out. It's like it's like it's for the streets, for oh, real. Okay, number two. Um, number two, I'll say that one would be a universal one. Number two, I'll say, I say going on. It's like a. Just showing my versatility, like it's no auto tune, none of that. It's just like a just going in. It's called going on. This year we're going on, um, going in, showing that I can actually spit. Like this is not a pretty face. Like I actually rap. Like I, I actually be spitting for real. Um, so that one, and then three, hmm, three. I got a song with light skin Keisha called Do It, and I be like that's just like one of them bangers. Like when when you play it, folks just be like okay. Okay, she's spit. Okay. So, yeah, I got a nice, nice little squad. I see you, like, you know what I'm saying? It, it seemed like a lot of the people that you hanging around, like, in, in your little, I guess what you say, y'all would click, y'all click. Mm -hmm. um, very kind of popular doing mm -hmm. their thing, like Light Skin Keisha, Coco mm -hmm. Vango, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? A lot of different artists, R&B girls. Like, so mm -hmm. how was that? How do y'all keep y'all team so tight, you know what I'm saying, as far as friendships? Because, you know, sometimes <laughs> when you get popular, people got egos. Exactly. And that's what it is, keeping a true friendship, like a genuine friendship, not doing the whole clout chasing mm -hmm. thing like we were speaking about earlier it's just like genuine friendship like every time i'm around these girls i'm not on instagram like i'm probably on instagram posting stuff with them maybe like 10 percent of the time that we're together it's like genuine like sis what you doing today like you good sis i seen you post something on instagram you good like i need to take right. anybody for you like genuine relationships that's how you keep it cool so how, how do y'all how do y'all um involve the music because i mean mm -hmm. it is kind of cool i think that like when when artists are in clicks and crews like it's dope when everybody mm -hmm. had their own personality everybody's popping yeah like, i just think it makes makes the crew bigger mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so uh, how do y'all do that as far as music the music just came along with it like most of these girls i just bumped into at the studio or at the mall or like instagram just liking you know how girls be like we right. like each other people right. comment and shit so that's how it started and then we just be like why we don't got no song together Let, let's do a song like Genuine friendships first, and then let all that follow. And it's because it's already gonna be a good look if y'all both popping. People gonna tune in either way. Right. They gonna tune in. Makes either sense. Way. Okay, so if you weren't rapping, mm -hmm. what would be your dream job? This is so funny because I say this all the time. I would be a homicide detective. What? Yes. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did that that came left field? I wouldn't expect. I that. know. I know. So. So you be the police? No, it's not even the police because been everybody too be much like first forty eight. Mm -hmm. That's all I watch. See, First of all, I know yeah. it. See, I know like, it. Like my friends hate staying at my house because I, they be like, "Like, why we gotta, why we gotta go to sleep watching this? I don't want to go to sleep hearing about little Murder. Sarah <laughs> that got killed and they looking for her killer." Like, but that's just what I, I I'm not gonna say that's what I like because that sounds weird. Um, I have an Get interest interesting. in like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mystery um, and finding out. So this means right. you can find out any nigga that's cheating. And and even like. She My, missed that. She, <laughs> yeah, she didn't. She, she purposely didn't now, dodge look, that one. I'm crazy now. I'm crazy. I'm one of them. You yeah, light skinned girls. You always I'm are crazy. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, me growing up with um my dad, he like you, you know he was in the streets or whatever. And then my mom, she was like super book smart. So I have like a a good balance, balance right. between the two. So growing up, my dad always taught me to pay attention to your surroundings and da da da. So maybe that's why I got a interest in that. Like I, I always pay attention to details. So I don't know, all the, like, homicide detective, private investigators, and, like, all that. Like, I'll be one of that. I'll be that <laughs> That's crazy. Of That's crazy. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, check it out, man. Mulatto's in the streets right right now. Go get that. Support her. Yeah. Video's coming soon. Period. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. So definitely Period. salute to you and everything in your growth. Period. And congratulations on everything you got going That's on. Love. Mulatto, Dirty Boys. I want to have a nine.